Hi everyone, welcome to another pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be what is going on with your person. You have three piles to choose from, pile one, pile two, and pile three. I'll give you a minute, but first I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's watching right now, to my old subbies and my new subbies, and I'm just really grateful to be a part of this community and I learned so much, grow so much, and I couldn't do it without you guys, so I really do appreciate it. But I will give you a minute to choose. Okay, pile number one. What's going on with your person? Pile number one. What's going on with your person? Whoop, whoop. Pile number one, what's going on with your person? Pile number one, what's going on with your person? Pile number one, what's going on with your person? Pile number one, what's going on with your person? Whoop. Pile number one, what's going on with your Pile number one, what's going on with your person? One more shuffle. Pile number one, what's going on with your person? King of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me. Nine of Wands reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, Chariot reversed, King of Wands reversed, The Hermit reversed, Emperor reversed, Seven of Pentacles uh, seven of wands, yeah, seven of wands reversed, and the five of swords reversed. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, give me just a second. Is everything in the view here? Okay. So, um, it's very likely you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Uh, we also have some fire energy, especially Aries here, but, oh, and, uh, Virgo, but strong, strongest sign is cancer for me. But signs really don't matter. So, um, you, your person is someone who is very loving, someone who, um, is uh, a big old teddy bear who, um, gives good hugs and tears up at movies and, um, very sweet person, right? But right now you're at a standstill. Right now this person is, uh, sort of stuck, sort of paralyzed, halted, um, not themselves, not their 100%. This person is, um, not moving, uh, they might have, uh, had a lot of luck in the past, right? They might have been able to move forward, go places, do things in the past, but now, uh, for whatever reason, they are stuck. Well, I know what reason, but <laughs> let's continue to the story. So I feel like this person might have shut you out, turned you away with the um, hermit right here. It's a little different in this deck. We see a monk who is turning away this sort of mirage of a beautiful woman offering him 
uh, fruit. And so he's like, no, 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 I'm on the spirit quest. I can't take your food, right? But whenever it's reversed and with this five of, is it swords? Yeah. Um, I feel like this is someone who was dealing with their own emotional turmoil, dealing with their own uh, sort of baggage, their own insecurities, that they um, turned away any good things in their life. They might have um, rejected you in some way, turned you down in some way. Um, even if you guys are married, there might have been some, or like um, together, right? Live together, long-term relationship, anything like that. Even if you guys are together in that way, uh, this person might have uh, gone cold on you, right? This person might have, um, again, there's this stuck energy, this not moving forward, this uh, someone who is not acting like themselves. And it's because they are dealing with some things about their masculinity. I feel like they feel emasculated in some way. I feel like they feel like they can't take ownership of their life, they can't take control of their life, they can't feel like a leader, like that sort of big papa energy if you're dealing with a man. If you're dealing with a woman, then there is some sort of debilitation in her masculine energy, meaning we all have feminine and masculine energy within us, and so she might be over controlling or she might be too. Um, her scales might be uh, tipped too far into the feminine energy that she is um, not stepping into her own power, right? But we have the Emperor here and the King of Wands here, and they're both in reverse and both talk about leadership, both talk about masculine energy, uh, being the boss, being in charge, being in control. We also have the chariot here that talks about being in control, right? Um, I also feel like if you are dealing with a woman, um, she might be experiencing um, sort of trauma from toxic masculinity, not, um, not divine masculinity, but toxic masculinity, right? Um, so, she may be experiencing trauma from abuse, from uh, control, from uh, harassment, any number of things, right? But I feel like um, whatever this is, um, your person had to go within, had to deal with some of their issues, and over the course of the next eight, sorry, seven months, Maybe that was a Freudian slip. Maybe it'll take eight months for some of you. Although timelines, like, don't get fixated on timelines, y'all. But over the course of the next seven months, I feel like a lot of the illusions are going to slip away. A lot of sort of their boogeymen are going to slip away. And they're in a process of unraveling uh, illusions and confusions that they had, that they have in their head um, and in their emotional state. I also feel like over this period of seven months, they will start to open up. They will start to really delve deep. In this Seven of Wands, we see a guy who is opening up a cave and uh, opening up a cave door to go in it, right? So I feel like they're really going to be exploring the deep parts of themselves, the deep parts of their mind where they might have not been able to devote any time to that in the past, right? Maybe they were always serving others, always there for others and never took time out for themselves. I see this with this hermit card, even though I do feel like with this hermit energy, they might have blocked people off and isolated themselves in some unhealthy ways, I do think ultimately being with themselves is going to help this process of getting rid of some of their illusions and uh, some of the, uh, that's why my light is not great. Sorry, distraction, I'm back to you. Um, so um, within the next seven months, they are going to really dive deep within themselves. They're going to go on sort of this soul's journey. It's not gonna be fun, I don't think. I feel like it's going to be a lot of purging 
a lot of having to face their own shadows, their own demons. But uh, this is necessary to unburden themselves. And once they do that, once they go into the deepest, darkest places of themselves, um, find out exactly why um, they are feeling this way, then they are going to be free. With the Seven of Pentacles here, we see a woman who is sending a bird off into the world, right? It's like freedom, liberation. This is also about planting seeds and reaping the harvest. Uh, we see two farmers in the background here who are tilling soil. So whatever shadow they have to face, whatever dark demons they have to purge, it's going to be a good investment. It's sort of like they're replanting the garden of their minds. They're replanting the garden of their hearts. They're weeding out the like, ugly little weeds, right? And then they are making sure that the soil is rich and fertile and then uh, planting the right seeds in their minds, in their hearts, uh, so that they can have a healthier relationship with themselves, healthier relationship with their divine masculine and divine feminine energies and a healthier relationship with you. So let me know if that resonated. I love you very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, check the description box below. I'm going to turn on this light because it will drive me crazy. Okay, pile number two. If you click the timestamp, are you like, wow, it got bright. <laughs> I was missing a light. Um, I am doing these in bulk, so I don't know. I'm pretty close to 2,000 subscribers, but if I'm still not at 2,000 subscribers, if you would like to win a Morgan Greer tarot in a 10, um, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment with the hashtag Morgan Greer, and one lucky winner will get this beautiful deck. So what's going on with pile two's person? What's going on with their person? Pile number two. What's going on with their person? Pile number two. What's going on with their person? Pile number two. What's going on with their person? Pile number two. What's going on with their person? Pile number two. One more shuffle. What's going on with your person? Pile number two. Keep getting repeating cards. Okay, give me a minute, guys. Give me a minute. Okay, is everything in the shot? I think so. Okay, so your person is Big Papa, your person is Big Daddy. We have the Emperor here. The Emperor is the ultimate masculine. He's the ultimate father, the ultimate husband. He is the boss. He is in control of his life, right? He is the captain of his own ship. Um, it is Aries energy, doesn't have to be, but this is... Um, the protector, the provider, the uh, divine masculine, right? The good traits of masculinity. Um, 
unfortunately he is unable to move forward because of bad memories and the bad memories are from perhaps straying we do have the ace of wands and the queen of wands here reversed so there might have been some infidelity in your relationship and we do have the three of cups here too so i do get strong um third party relationships uh seeing someone else um sleeping with someone else and um they know it was a mistake guys because we have the six of cups bad memories reversed and we have the chariot reversed so this is like it's like whenever your um car breaks down you're on the side of the road and it's because you um, knew that you should have you know fixed your radiator and you never did and then it blew up in your face right and so now the whole car is kaput so I feel like um, this situation you might have caught them um, or it might have just um, sort of blown up in their face in some way and um, they are stuck they are trapped and but they are in a period of getting untrapped because we over the next three months i think there's going to be a shift i i feel like there is there was a missed opportunity with you um they sort of like passed you up and because everything came to a head everything like sorry for my language but shit hit the fan um they are realizing that they should have appreciated you more, they should have valued you more, they should have cherished you more, and that this was a really dumb mistake. And over the next three months, they are um, in a timeout with themselves about that. <laughs> and they are thinking, of all the ways that they can come correct, all the ways they can make things right, all the ways that they can uh, be better the next time around, right? But I do feel like they want a second shot because over the course of the next three months, timing is fluid and this is a general reading, so don't take timing too uh, seriously, but over the course of the next three months, according to this spread I feel like there is going to be a lot of healing I feel like there is going to be um, your person asking for forgiveness I feel like there is going to be uh, you know some sorry some apologies and um, you know wanting to come back into your arms like this right wanting to love on you uh, yeah, but let me know if that resonated. I love you very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, check the description box below. I love you. Bye. Okay, pile number three, last but not least, pile number three, what's going on with your person? What's going on with your person, pile number three? What's going on with your person? If you're like, wow, it's really brighter, it's because I was missing a light and now the world makes sense again because it's not as dark. What's going on with your person, pile number three? What's going on with your person? Pile number three. What's going on with your person? Pile number three. What's going on with your person? Pile number three. One more shuffle. What's going on with your person? Pile number three. keep having repeating stuff bear with me y'all bear with me
Okay, is everything in the shot? Yes. Okay, pile number three, I feel like you are dealing with a person who is a, like, really powerful witch or warlock. Um, I know that might seem like crazy to some of you, but I feel like um, if they don't, like, practice any sort of uh, witchcraft, any sort of um, spell work or anything like that, this is just a powerful manifestor so they can sort of speak anything into existence they can make it happen i also feel like you're dealing with someone i'm sorry <laughs> sorry i put my dog too hard <laughs> or i woke her up not too hard um she's just like why are you waking me up um you're dealing with someone who is um very psychic so they can feel you they can sense you they can read your mind they can um and again, it's just this powerful manifester with the high priestess and the magician. I feel like um, there is sort of this mystery about them, sort of this like magical quality about them, right? Unfortunately, um, for some of you, there was a third party situation. For others of you, I feel like um, this person might have a drinking problem or um, go or drug problem, uh, goes out too much. It's kind of like too silly right and they might um you know they might be the type of person who is um sort of mean whenever they get drunk and they can't see it themselves right and you've like told them and they're like oh let me up you know um but they just sort of like turn into a different person whenever they've been drinking i feel like for the most part um you're dealing with someone who is suffering from addictions and not a third party situation but the i mean this is a general reading so um, you know, take what applies to you. But yes, I feel like for the most part, you're dealing with someone who is a heavy drinker, um, does a lot of drugs, and they don't realize the people they hurt in the process, even if you do, um, you know, bring that to their attention. And I feel like over the course of the next two years, I say two years because we have the two of pentacles right here. The the pinnacle suit represents years, but don't get hung up on timing because, again, this is a general reading and um, not everyone will, um, and obviously this is a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this video is when it's meant for you, but um, because it's a general reading, you know, two years, <sighs> they're shooting fireworks, scaring my dogs, ruining my readings, why? Um, there they go. Continue, continue. Let's focus, Lauren. So, um, you know, I hesitate on timing because people get so hung up on it. And, uh, so take it with a grain of salt, y'all. But I feel like this process is not going to, uh, be very quick for them to sort of rid themselves of these bad habits, rid themselves of these addictions because, um, they don't want to change and um, they have trouble expressing themselves. Sometimes, you know, they're a little mean and people don't want to help them, you know? Like, they sort of put their foot in their mouths and so any help that they could get, um, it just sort of gets shot to the ground. And, you know, part of that is because of this um, substance abuse problem that they have. But, um, also, I think another problem, because we have the Two of Pentacles here, the Two of Pentacles is about juggling, and we often see a wavy um, ocean behind uh, this uh, juggler, and the wavy ocean, uh, water represents emotion, so, um, you know, this is someone who is very emotional, um, may not be emotional on the surface, um, but... I feel like you can feel their intensity, though. I'm feeling strong Scorpio vibes. I know we have more like Pisces and um, Aries Gemini energy up here. We have Aries here, too, but I'm feeling like strong Scorpio. Um, we do have death here, but predominantly I just feel Scorpio. Like, you can feel their intensity, but it's not like they're going to, like, blow up in a mood swing. It's just that... Um, you can sort of feel them like bubbling under the surface, but because they want to put on that air of mystery, then um, 
they can't fully express themselves, express their feelings. Um, so they might try to like self-medicate those feelings. And um, so this process of recovering from this addiction is hard because they're stubborn about the changes that need to be made. They can't communicate how they really feel. And so they're putting on sort of this act. We have the magician and this two of pentacles, sort of this magic show, right? Um, on the surface and, um, but you can feel like this sort of underlying current of emotion. Um, and he's wearing a mask too. So it's like, they don't want to reveal those feelings. They don't want to reveal their inner selves, but they need to learn how to reveal themselves in order to surmount this addiction, in order to surmount, surmount this um, problem that they have. Um, yeah, so how you can help your person is with equal give and take. And so it can be hard whenever you are dealing with someone who is an addict. Um, addictions run in my family, so I understand. It's a fine line between being there for someone and being codependent, right? Um, enabling someone. So um, what I would recommend is not um, like putting your foot down as far as the addictions go, um, but being there in a loving way. I also want to say with this Five of Swords that um, anything you can do to mitigate conflict, minimize conflict, um, I feel like not engaging in these fights and sort of realizing like, um, it's like drugs or alcohol turn them into a different person. This is not the person that I love. This is a person who is poisoned, right? Alcohol is poison. And so if you acknowledge that whenever they are being nasty during a fight, um, then your ego um, is less likely to get involved to like strike back and have the last word and all of that. Um, it doesn't mean that this person that you can't tell this person what they're doing is hurtful. It doesn't mean that you can't tell this person your boundaries and that you won't stand for it, um, that you won't put up with it. Um, but it does mean not like snapping back at them and escalating the conflict, right? So you want to de-escalate conflicts and come from a place of love, but still come from a place of, you know, I'm not going to allow this and that because I do love you, right? Um, so you'll have to, um, find ways to strike that balance. You might want to, um, read books on codependency, on, um, you know, dealing with a, people you love with addictions. I think Narconon is for people, um, who are like on the enabler side. Um, so, um, you know, I'm on the enabler side. I've had to deal with stuff like that. And um, I still struggle with stuff like that sometimes. So it's not easy, but um, if you... Sorry. Um, so, um, you know, it's not gonna be a walk in the park, but... Um, over the next two years, it might take a lot of patience with this person while they are working through these substance abuse issues. So let me know if that resonates with you. I love you very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, you know what to do. I love you. Bye.